Hello. We at Union United Methodist Church thank you for joining us for this three-part video series as we invite you to journey with us and with Christians everywhere throughout this Holy Week, which has begun today on Palm and Passion Sunday. The story of Christ's final week is found in the latter chapters of each of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So you may be asking, why take this journey with Jesus? Because friends, it will make a difference in your life as you reflect on what Christ has done for you, really for us. Our Lord came to live a human life so that we would come to know of God's great love for us. Our Lord Jesus Christ is Emmanuel, a name which means God with us. He came to show us what God intended for our lives, to find the assurance, the hope, the healing, the blessing, which God has intended for all people. Sometimes, you know, the way is hard. We stumble and fall. We question the significance and the purpose of our life. We're really not at peace. We struggle in our relationships, and one day pretty much flows into the next with so much to do, and yet somehow we feel unsatisfied, even somehow empty when that day is completed. When I'm feeling this way, I remember what Psalm 42 verse 1 says, As the deer longs for streams of water, so my soul longs for you, O God. I thirst for God, the living God. I believe that this longing is as much a part of who we are as the very air we breathe. How awesome it is that our loving God has created us for a relationship, relationship with God and with one another. I have no doubt that our Lord wants us to be well, to be at peace, to be full of joy, ready to live lives that do honor God and bless God's children. It's a moving, truly a spiritual experience to consider the wondrous love of our Lord in Christ's passion. It informs us and it informs our world. So today we're going to reflect upon the events of Palm Sunday and that Monday of the final week of Jesus' earthly life. Please look for a video update midweek as we remember the Last Supper and the crucifixion. The scriptures say that Jesus set his face to go to Jerusalem, knowing full well what that meant. So friends, find blessing. Indeed, find yourself as you journey with him. Day one of Holy Week, Palm Sunday's triumphal entry. On the Sunday before his death, Jesus began his trip to Jerusalem knowing that soon he would lay down his life for the sins of the world. Nearing the village of Bethpage, he sent two of his disciples ahead to look for a donkey with its unbroken colt that had never been ridden. Jesus instructed the disciples to untie the animals and bring them to him. Then Jesus sat on the young donkey and slowly, humbly made his triumphal entry into Jerusalem, fulfilling ancient prophecy. After so many months of keeping the truth that he is the Messiah quiet, now it has become known in a very public way. The crowds welcomed him by waving palm branches in the air and shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Now Hosanna means... Lord, save us now. On to day two of Holy Week. This is the Monday when Jesus cleared the temple. When Jesus arrived at the temple, he found the courts full of corrupt money changers and began overturning their tables and cleansing the temple, saying, the scriptures declare, my temple will be a house of prayer, but you have turned it into a den of thieves. He spoke out boldly, we might call it righteous indignation to indicate that God's people are not to be exploited and taken advantage of. Afterward, he brought healing to the blind and lame there, cleansing sacred space that was intended for the worship of God and the blessing of humankind. The next days were full of intense teaching and preparation and many questions from the religious leaders who sought to get rid of Jesus. I believe that they were fearful and could not accept the truth that Jesus offered them. So check back with us midweek as we continue this spiritual journey.